as a result of the unprecedented increase in land pressures and the unsustainable use of natural resources as a whole, the need for up-to-date, credible information and data on the current and future state of agricultural resources and their productivity is critical. For governments and for those who use land, it is of utmost importance to preserve land resources through their rational and sustainable use for the benefit of present and future populations. Issues related to the sustainable management of natural resources, food security and the fight against poverty are integral parts of the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development as reflected in SDGs 1, 2 and 15. FAO encourages the integrated management of natural resources in cooperation with various actors. Over the past three decades, FAO and YASA have cooperated to develop and apply the agroecological zoning methodology and databases. The AZ framework is a successful approach used in land evaluation to support sustainable agricultural development by providing information about current and future agricultural production risks and opportunities, climate change impacts and possible adaptation options. Such information can facilitate planning decisions and induce choices that, while being more productive, are also sustainable and resilient to climate change and variability. In 2021, FAO and IIASA are launching version 4 of the Global Agroecological Zoning Platform, which represents the backbone of various applications, including quantifying potential land productivity at the global level. This fourth version of GAIAS benefits from considerable advances in geospatial information and communication technology, and utilizes remote sensing, climatology, and artificial intelligence. The GAIAS platform provides global, regional and national information that can be disaggregated at the local level to support better agricultural planning, land and water resources, food security and development, while taking on the major environmental challenges related to climate change, biodiversity loss and land degradation. FAO also engages various partners such as the International Institute for Applied Systems Analysis, the Asian Institute of Technology, ESRI, research and universities in the use of the latest technological developments, methods and data. In doing so, FAO strengthens its partnerships and collaboration towards better management of agricultural resources and global food security. The Global AEZ is of particular interest also to national organizations dealing with aspects of agriculture, land and water resources, food security, agricultural development and policies, or with climate variability and climate change. For example, in Afghanistan, FAO supports Afghan institutions to assess agricultural production, develop a geospatial platform and obtain agricultural statistics. The GAIA's methodology allows for the determination of achievable yields under current and future conditions and also the creation of development scenarios for adaptation and climate change mitigation. In Laos, FAO is strengthening agroclimatic monitoring, analysis, communication and use of data and information for decision making in agriculture and food security. Agroecological zoning acts in support to agroclimatic monitoring and anticipatory land use and land policies. We prepare comparative images of the present and future global AZ maps for crops such as coffee, maize, cassava, rice, and so on. Then the training consists of developing policy, narratives for crop production, development strategy, from today to the future. We have the image of the global map for Laos as a point of reference from beginning. And we can see that the national map is similar to the global map and makes me confidence to continue working with other clubs. In Angola, FAO supports reversing land degradation on the central Angolan plateau by developing a robust statistical and geospatial base of agricultural development potentials in support of sustainable land management plans and food security. 
AZ in Angola is fundamental in our view to the welfare of our communities. It will allow us to deepen our understanding of uh, conditions at the local level, as well as allow for the most efficient planning of the use of the resources that are um, widely available to the communities, but in a way that is um, coordinated in a way that um, helps us to maximize the use of, uh, of those resources in the community. Information technologies are evolving rapidly and data transfer and analysis applications offer new opportunities, whether to improve the quality of information or the engagement of various actors in the development and evaluation of the agricultural and natural resources sectors.